St. Paul College We Nurture Your Future from KG to PG. Hello students, this is Professor Aratna Goyal from St. Paul College. Today we are going to learn topic number system. So let's start. So students, we'll start with the topic now. The topic is number system. We are going to discuss these things in the number system. Number name, index number and the conversion from decimal to binary and binary to decimal go. So we have these number names over here binary number system, octal number system, decimal number system and the hexadecimal number system. We further discuss about these number system in details also. As the name suggested, first is your binary number system. As the name suggested, numbers and index number. The index number which is also known as a base number each number is having their own index number like binary number system is having the base number 2 now we are having a formula which is n minus 1 n represent the index number n minus 1 means the base value or the index number for the binary number system is 2 so if we will put over here 2 minus 1 it is 1 so what all numbers will come into this number system is 0 0 means the any number system whether it is primary, octal, decimal or hexadecimal number system each number system the value will always start from 0 and will go up to n minus 1 ok so over here it is 0 and 1 and the index value is 2 our second number system is octal number system here the numbers and the index index is 8 for the octal number system now again how we will take it take it out n minus 1 n is the index number which is 8 so 8 minus 1 is equals to 7 means the numbers which will come inside the octal number system will start from 0 will go up to 7 so what all numbers will come here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 our third number system is decimal number system now here numbers and index number which is also known as a base number for decimal number system the base is 10 again how we will take out the total numbers which are present into the decimal number system which is index number n minus 1 10 minus 1 which is equals to 9 now what all numbers will be present here we will start with 0 we will go up to 9 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 here we will learn that we only have the numbers between 0 to 9. After that, we have the combinations of numbers. Right? If we talk about number 10, it is a combination of number 1 and 0. If we talk any other number like 30, it is a combination of 1 and 3. So, we have number from 0 to 9. And after that, we have the combination of the numbers. We don't have numbers except these numbers. So the last number system is hexadecimal number system. Over here we have the index number 16. How we will take out the numbers which are present? That is again n minus 1. So 16 minus 1 is equals to 15. Now the question arises as I said we don't have the numbers more than 0 to 9. Now how we will represent the numbers 10 to 15. So there is a question for this we have a solution. We have some characters to represent the number 10 to 15 right. So from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we have numbers and to represent the number 10, we have an alphabet which represents number 10, alphabet B will represent number 11, C will represent number 12, D will represent number 13, E will represent number 14 and F will represent number 15. So if we talk about the hexadecimal number system, we will say the numbers which are present in this, where these numbers are 0 to 9. And then from 10 to number 15, we need to represent the numbers with the help of the alphabet which will start from A and will go up to F. Now we will learn about the conversion, decimal to binary. So we will see how we will convert the number 12 which is in decimal number and we will get the output in binary number. So how we will get the output will come in the binary because the base is 2 which is the index number of the binary number system. So the number 12 will divide with a 2. 2 6 are 12. Now once we will divide the number with 2, 2 6 are 12. Anything is left, remainder is left? No, there is nothing left. So we will put a 0 over here. Again we will divide with 2. 2 3 are 6. Anything is left? Yes, 1. So we will put this 1 over here in front of this number. Again we will divide with the 2. So 2 1 are 2. Again. What is left? 1. Now, from down to up, we will go and we will write these numbers. So, the result is 1, 1, 1 and 0, base 2. So, the number decimal number 12 is represented by
by the number 110-1110 in the binary number system like this. Right? Now we will learn about the conversion binary to decimal. This is binary number which is 111 base 2. We have to check which decimal number is this. So for that what we will do? Now in the previous number from decimal to binary what we have done? We have divided the number from 2 to uh, the given number. Now here what we will do? We will multiply the number. Now what? why, why I have drawn this arrow? Because we will start with from this side. So it is 1, 1 and 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 0 multiplied by 2 to the power 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 2. So whatever numbers are given over here, we will multiply those numbers with 2. The power will start with 0, will go up to whatever number it is. So 2 ki power 0 is always 1. So 2 ki power one, uh, 0 is 1 multiplied by 1 is equals to 1. 2 to the power 1 is equals to 2 multiplied by 1 is equals to 2. 2 to the power 4 is multiplied by 1 is equals to 4. The total is 7. Okay. The number which comes is 7. Now, I hope the students the topic is clear to you all. Thank you.